So bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ahmaduhu wa usalli ala rasulil kareem Today we will be studying this verse and looking at some of the classical tafsirs on the ayah 159 of Surah Nisa Allah azza wa jal says Ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim wa in min ahli al-kitab illa la yu'minanna bihi qabla mawtihi wa yawm al-qiyamati yakunu alayhim shahida Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِمِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ There will be none of the people of the book. Now, please, very important. None ex, none of the people of the book. None. وَإِمِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ لَا أَحَدٌ مِّنْ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ Except they will believe in him. Now him, ayah number 158 is referring to Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. And Allah said, بَلْ رَفَعَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised Isa alayhi salatu wasalam to himself. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-aziz, the most powerful, the most wise. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ And there will be none amongst the people of the book إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ Except they will definitely believe in him. لَمْ شَدَّ and نُنْ شَدَّ Both are there for emphasis. لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ Before his death. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And on the day of judgment, يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا and he will be a witness against them. What does this ayah tell us? <clears throat> so, let me first go over the classical tafsirs, and then I will explain what does it mean in the context of the present times and the coming of the godless world, or the Dajjalic world, or the false messianic era. Okay? And so, uh, let's start with a basic tafsir, Awlasi, okay? Uh, he says, Akhraja ibn Jarir an ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma aw hum Okay, so, ay yuhud khasa. He says that this is referring to the Yehud Khasatan, the Jews specifically. And Wahum Nasrai and Ansari, the Nasara, the Christians, Kama Dahaba Ilehi Kathirum Minal Mufasirin, as many of the Mufasirin have stated so. So none of the people of the book, meaning amongst the Jews, according to Ibn Abbas and others and the Christians, except they will believe in him, meaning Jesus, before the day of judgment. And this is, there's difference of opinions about what type of statement is this. But one of the very strong opinion is, it is, خَبْرٌ مُعَكِّدٌ بِالْقَسَمْ This is a statement of qasam as well as جَوَابُ الْقَسَمْ meaning an oath. This is an oath from Allah that there will be none of the people of the book except they will believe in him before his death. And on the day of judgment, he will be a witness against them. Okay? Let's look at another tafsir. Before we go into further details, we're just looking at classical tafsir. Tafsir Razi, Imam Razi, Fakhruddin Razi, the great Mufassir of the Quran. And one of the great classicals أي قبل موت عيسى مراد أن أهل الكتاب الذين يكون موجودين في زمان النزول. This is referring to the death of Isa alayhi salat wa salam when Allah says قبل موته. As you'll see, there are different opinions on this. But Imam Razi says والمراد أن أهل الكتاب that the people of the book الذين يكونون موجودين. Those that will be present at that time في زمان النزول At the time of the coming down of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam لا بد There's no doubt 
وَأَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهِ It will be compulsory to them, for them to believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Okay? Now you'll see why I'm mentioning the classical tafsirs. And then something very, very important I have to mention about the context that we live in in relationship to this. Okay? So, uh, Imam Baqai says, أي بعيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام قبل موته أن أي موت إيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام أي أنه لا يموت حتى ين ينزل في آخر الزمان. Meaning إيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام will not die until the آخر الزمان. Okay. And then here, and then uh, يؤيد الله بدين الإسلام حتى يدخل فيه جميع أهل الملل. All of the civilizations will enter into the deen of Islam. Okay, this is what he says. Let me see if I'm... Okay. And uh, let us go on to the next tafsir. This is Ibn Ashur, one of the great tafsirs. إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِمْ is one of the uh, Kira's where it says they will believe in him before their death. So before his death, instead of his meaning Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, some of the Kira's they mention, إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِمْ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ يُطْلِقُ عَلَى الْيَحُودِ وَالنَّصَارَى أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ meaning the people of Jews and the Christians. فَأَمَّا النَّصَارَى فَهُمْ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِإِسَى مِنْ قَبْلُ And it, very basic tafsir here, so we can just continue. And then uh, in the tafsir of Ibn Atiyah, which is also a very great tafsir that I really like. وَإِن مِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ لَا يُؤْمِنُنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ اِخْتَلَفَ الْمُتَعَاوِلُونَ فِي مَعْنَ الْآيَةِ The people who do ta'wil, they disagree on, the, meaning when they give interpretation, they differ, disagree on the hermeneutics of the ayah. فَقَالَ ابْنِ عَبَّاسِ وَأَبُ مَلِكِ وَحَسَنْ بِنْ أَبِي حَسَنْ وَغَيْرُهُمْ ضَمِيرٌ مَوْتِهِ رَجَعَ إِلَى إِسَى عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ Before his death is referring to Isa عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ بِمَعْنَى أَنَّهُ لَا يَبْقَى مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ أَحَدٌ إِلَّا إِذَا نَزَّلَ إِذَا نَزَّلَ عِيسَى إِلَى الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَ النَّبِيُّ إِسَى There will be no one of the people of the book except they will believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Now remember the key word when I talk about the godless society will be this word Ahlul Kitab. Okay, keep this in mind. Just as all he says in his writing, all of the human beings will believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Uh, all the ways of life will become one way of life. وَقَالَ مُجَاهِدْ Ibn Abbas Aydan وَغَيْرُهُمَا ضَمِيرٌ فِي بِهِ لِإِسَى So they will believe in him is referring to Isa. مَوْتِهِ لِكِتَابِيَّ الَّذِي ضَمَّنَتْ لَهُ وَإِنْ مِنْ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ So the reason Allah says and none of the people of the book is referring to the fact that it is referring to the book that they will believe in the book before he dies. So before... None amongst the people of the book except they will believe in him, meaning Jesus, or except they will believe in it, meaning their own books. This is the other meaning. Okay. وَإِن مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ أَحَدٌ وَقَالُوا لَيْسَ يَمُوتُ يُحُودِيٌّ حَتَّى يُؤْمِنُ بِإِسَى رُوحَ اللَّهِ And none of the Jews will die except they will believe in it, meaning in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Ru Allah, the Ru of Allah, Ya'lamu annahu nabiyun, knowing that he is the Nabi of Allah, lakin in the ma'an, um, and then he goes into some uh, language aspects here. But except they will believe in him, according to him when he talks further, is also perhaps he says, Bihi Muhammadin alayhi salatu wasalam, qabla mawtihi li kitabiyya that they will believe in him meaning prophet muhammad and or uh, or in his book which is pointing to isa's truth and prophet muhammad's truth and this is why some mufassirin say it's specifically referring to the jews that when isa alayhi salatu wasalam comes down he, they will believe in him also the christians of course and then uh, he says something interesting and strange based upon some of the riwayas. Uh, 
لَيْسَ الْيَخْرُجُ يَحُودٌ وَلَا نَصْرَانِيٌ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا No Jew or Christian will die from dunya hatta yu'minu bi Muhammad except they will have to believe in Prophet Muhammad. وَلَوْ غَرَقَ Even if they um, drown. وَأَوْ سَقَتَ عَلَيْهِ الْجِدَارِ Even if a wall falls on them. إِنَّهُ يُؤْمِنُ بِذَلِكَ الْوَقْتِ They will believe in him. وَف... And then he refers to the other narrations. Okay. إِن مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ الْآيَةِ إِن بِمَعْنَ نَافِيَ Okay. So there is an opinion that uh, this ayah is also saying that they will all believe but their belief will not benefit them. Okay. And then others said no, their belief will benefit them. So I'm not going to have that argument right now. I'm just going to go on to the next uh, tafsir. There will be none of the people of the book, meaning the Jews, the Christians. And then he talks about the uh, the uh, the grammatical aspect. There will be none except they'll believe in Jesus before the taking of his soul. And then the last narration I'll use for now, and then I will start explaining the verse. قَالَ إِبْنِ عَبَاسِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمَا لَيْسَ مِنْ يَحُودِيًّا يَمُوتُ حَتَّى يُؤْمِنْ بِإِسَى إِبْنِ مَرْيَمْ There will be no Jew except he'll believe in Isa ibn Maryam. قَالَ لَهُ رَجُلٌ مِنْ صَاحِبِهِ فَكَيْفَ وَرَجُلٌ كيف, how is that? وَرَجُلٌ يَغْرِقْ A person can drown. وَيَحْتَرِقْ And a person can get burnt by fire. أو يَسْقِطْ عَلَيْهِ جِدَارِ And or a wall can fall on him. أو يَأْكُلُهُ السَّبْعَ Or he can eat poison. قَالَ لَا تَخْرُجْ رُوحُهُ مِنْ جَسَدِهِ حَتَّى يُقْذَفْ فِيهِ إِيمَانِ So even in such cases, Ibn Abbas says that his ruh will be not taken until Iman is put in his heart. Bi Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Okay. And uh, I'll just leave it at this. Now let us uh, study in a little bit in the context of Islamic eschatology, specifically from that perspective. What, in, in the times that we live in, what is this ayah telling us? In min ahlil kitab. There will be none except the people of the book. They will believe in him. Is there any other group other than the people of the book? And the answer is yes. The true Christians that follow their book and the true Jews that follow their book, they can be called people of the book. I'll give you an example. You cannot marry a Christian girl that doesn't go to the church. We say you can marry a Christian and Jew, but that means that they are people of the book. And people of the book means that she, meaning when she marries her husband, her husband cannot stop her from going to the church. Her husband cannot stop her from going to her sheikh, her Christian teacher. She must be a true follower of her book, otherwise she's not a person of the book. And so you can marry a person of the book, meaning a Christian girl that is actually going to the church and is serious about her Bible. You can't just say, this is a girl at the beach that I like and I want to marry her. She represents the secular, godless world. You cannot marry a girl that has the label of Christian, but she's not a person of the book. You cannot eat from McDonald's just because you think they're Christians. They're not Christians. They're secular. They're godless institutions. You can't just say, oh, I'm eating the food of the Christians. These things don't represent, these institutions do not represent God or Jesus or Christianity. They represent godlessness. And so with the Jal will be the godless people. The liberal people, those who say it's okay to have abortions no matter what. 
Those who say you can have 16 different genders, no matter what. Those who say you can deal with people with riba, with interest, no matter what. Those that say God is not important, we will settle our, we will settle our matters without God's involvement. Those who say we will, we will worship nature and study nature and call it science, we don't need God in the picture. Those who say that let's change things to the point that it's just not even what it really was. These are all things, the people of the book, the people of the book, the true people who are adhering even today to their book and the Jews who are adhering to their book, and the Christians who are adhering to their book, and to the Muslims who are adhering to their Qur'an. To the Muslims who are adhering to their Qur'an, not secular Muslim. There's no difference between the secular Muslim of today and the secular Jew of today and the secular Christian of today who the Dajjal will meet. There's no difference between liberal liberal feministic liberalism amongst the Muslims even if she wears hijab. There's no difference between a feministic liberal lady even if she comes from the heritage of Christianity. And there's no difference between a Jewish lady that follows liberal feminism and goes against tradition. Goes against her book goes against all things. Dijal will come on a donkey. And the Quran says about the donkey, the donkey represents an image, a metaphor of people who don't do what, it, they don't follow the knowledge they have. They will claim to have books on their backs, but they will be stubborn to follow those books. They'll be ignorant of their own books. So a Christian lady that doesn't know her Bible, you can't marry her. A Jewish person that doesn't slaughter according to his book, you can't eat that food. A Muslim who claims to be secular, and I can stand, by st I can stand side by side in the name of humanity with another secular Jew to have peace in the world, that is not Islam. That is the Abrahamic Accords. You see, only those who are true to Islam, to their Quran, and to their books, will be given the gift to believe in Isa والسلام, in the end of times. And so, a conditional statement is made in addition to an oath or an answer to an oath. Imin ahlil kitab. There will be none except amongst the people of the book. There will be none but amongst the people of the book. Except they will believe in him before his death, meaning Isa Why will they believe in him? They will believe in him because Isa will have the knowledge of Tawrat and Injil and the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet according to the Quran. Allah said, and we taught him the Kitab, the book, the Quran, and the Hikmah, the wisdom, and the Torah and the Injil. And so he will tell the people of the book that are aware of what the book says to start with. Where he can say, does not your book say this? Does your book not say this? Does your Torah not say this? Does your Injil not say this? Those who are unfamiliar with the language of their book, they have no hope. They belong to the godless society. They will have no hope. They will belong to the godless society. And so the war of Haqq and Batil will have two categories of people. One will be those amongst the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews who've become secular, who become godless, who love the godless world and its charms and its materialism and its technology. 
And the other side of the same level is going to be Christians and Jews who are against this godless society. Then at the second, and or you could say at the higher level, will be the believers who are also not secular, who are holding on to the truth of Quran and Sunnah of Muhammad wasallam. They will believe in the coming of Isa. They will believe in the coming of the Mahdi. They will do bayah on the hands of the Mahdi. They will follow the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. They will not be deceived. These people will work with Christians, but they will have the ultimate truth. <coughs> they will have the ultimate truth. And when Isa والسلام, comes down, he will reveal the truth for those people that will have the eyes to see it, who will know their books, who will understand they will be people of the book. But unfortunately, this is one of the tricks that Shaitan is playing. Why is he working so hard to get Christians, the largest religion in the world, out of Christianity? Why is he getting Christians to leave Christianity in the millions? Shaitan is doing this because he knows more than you and I that he has to get try to get Christians out in mass because when Isa alayhi salatu wasalam comes down and if they're familiar with the contents of the Bible they will believe in Isa والسلام, and they will save themselves so as the time of Isa والسلام, comes near his attempt to get Christians and Jews and Muslims out of the fold of Christianity and Islam is going to be is going to exasperate is going to go higher is going to es es escalate because he doesn't want that time to come where now they all start believing. And so he has to get a large, millions of Christians leave Christianity every year. Hundreds and thousands of people leave Islam every year. Large numbers are leaving the deen every year. And so these people are ready for a type of spirituality that doesn't hurt their sensitivities of modernity and liberalism and humanism and all the other isms. But those people that are true to the book of Allah and will stand up against secularism and godlessness and fake prophets, those people will be blessed to believe in Isa والسلام, They will be blessed amongst the Jews and amongst the Christians. So we look forward to that day where the masjids are full. Even in the West, every masjid will be full. Even in the West, every masjid will be full to the brim. Because finally, those people who were going to the churches, who were familiar with their Bible, doing their Bible studies, who went beyond Christianity as a myth, and beyond the Paulian lies, to actually study their book and understand its content, so that when Isa والسلام, comes down, he's able to convey to them this is the actual wordings of the scripture. And so there are many amongst the Christians of Africa and of Eastern Europe that are of this type of Christian who are sincere to their book. And there are a few in the West, in Europe and America also. So the religious way of life will always stand up against secular, liberal, liberal, demonic, godless way of life. Any religious way of life, and especially the Jews and Christians, if they adhere to their book and recognize through their book, don't they recognize through their book that we live in the end of times? Don't they recognize through their book that there are demonic forces around us working on the planet more than many, many Muslims and for that matter, more than Muslim, many Muslim scholars. And so we celebrate this verse of the Quran which I would... 
وَإِن مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ And there will be none amongst the true people of the book. إِلَّا لَا يُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ This is not the person that belongs to the secular world and has never opened up a Bible or the Torah. This is the person who studies the Torah every day. They, we already as Muslims believe in the, on Isa والسلام, as he is claimed to be in the Quran. And when he comes back, وَإِمِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ And there will be none amongst the people of the book إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ Before his death. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا And Isa والسلام, will be a witness against them on the Day of Judgment. Okay. And over here against them Includes the people who believed in him But didn't do what they were supposed to do And the rest of them Who were supposed to even believe in their book But they didn't Let me share you with you one verse of the Quran The Quran says Ya Ahlul Kitab O people of the book You know it'd be interesting to go over all of the verses Where Allah says Ya Ayyuhaladzina Amanu O you people who believe 99 ayahs that say Ya Ayyuhaladzina Amanu Ya Ayyuhannas O mankind and ya, ya, ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, to make a contrast of these three studies. But anyway, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, lastum ala shay. You have no claims. You don't have the claim to say you're a people of the book. Lastum ala shay in hatta tuqimu tawrata wal injil until you yourself establish in your lives and in your society in your household the Torah and Injil only when you establish that the norms of your own book do you have any claim otherwise you have no claim so those people who are true Christians who try to follow their book and true Jews who try to follow their book not Talmud not Zora Torah and those who try to really follow the book of Allah, then at least when Isa comes, the Messiah comes, when the when Messiah comes, they will be able to identify that he is the true Messiah. And he will tell the people, I am the true Messiah, and he will prove it through the books that they know. And this is the benefit of being Ahlul Kitab in the end times. And it is the benefit of uh, given to humanity by by the virtue of the akhir the nabiul akhirul zaman the prophet of the last age that because of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the coming down of isa alayhi salatu wasallam that the whole world will it will be made apparent to them clear to them azhar min azhar shams clear as the daylight for them that this is the truth and this is Isa and what he's saying is true and he and what the book said especially the book that he brought that is true and the book of Prophet Muhammad is true and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is true so while the future is dark and dim but after every darkness there is light and behold that day that when Christians and Jews in large numbers will be believing in Isa والسلام, and that will be a time where Isa والسلام, will rule the world and there will be true tranquility and peace as many of the Mufassirin have also written on this but I'm not going to go further on this issue today I wanted us to only understand that if they are people of the book what is the opposite of the people of the book it is the people who may have Christian names or Jewish names or Muslim names but they're not true to the scriptures that they have they're not true to their Quran they're not true to their uh, Bible and they're certainly not true to their Torah and those secular liberal humans will be the ones that will be waging tyranny and suppression and aggression against the people who want to live a God-fearing and a religious-centered life. And we can see the beginning of what is about to happen with this whole 
more than 16 genders situation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and always leave us in a place of hope because Iman is bain al khawfi wa rija. Yes, times that are coming are difficult, but not hopeless. And special help will come to the believers from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those special believers who get the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the end times. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I also want to mention before um, in this recording, this particular recording, that uh, I'm looking to do a few projects. So those of you that want to, uh, if you feel in your heart, you should give. Please open your heart and definitely give. I'll have a link in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, if um, Yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. That inshallah ta'ala, if you want to give, please definitely give. And I'll have my PayPal link to the people that are interested inshallah in giving. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi